Road Dog Crypto. Welcome back to Road Dog Crypto. My name is Lane. Today we're taking a look at Phantom. With a total supply of 3.175 billion, Phantom has a circulating supply of 88% of the coins out in circulation, 2.782 billion. Volume has dropped off in the last 24 hours to 285 million. Market cap for this coin is coming in at a healthy 1.126 billion. And while Phantom is down 88% from its all time high of October 28, 2021, when it reached $3.48, we got potential to head back that way. And that's why Phantom is on my radar. Recently, Phantom released a new version of its Phantom mainnet, and the Graph Network has also added support for Phantom in its MIP program, allowing indexers to bootstrap support on the network for adding new chains. Jumping into the chart, I am on the three day here, and the reason I'm bringing you to the three day is because. When we take a look at Market Cypher, we see that this momentum wave is not very far off. From printing a green dot, stochastics are at the bottom, money flow is coming up, VWAP is about to cross over. Things are about to happen for Phantom. We just need to get ready. However, before that happens, we can expect a little bit more of a dip and probably get in at some better prices. So that's what we're taking a look at today. Now, just switching over to the daily here, just taking a look at the overall price action, we can see that we bottom out here at Phantom just a little over 16 cents. Great time to get in. Congratulations to you guys did we made a bottom scenario it's shaped very much like an adam and eve bottom anyway right here was the peak of this we came back broke below that line not that great but really what we're looking at is this bottom and this bottom and this bottom kind of this triple bottom scenario going here we also have the resistance right here we did not quite make it down to the bottom of that line, and that was at 29.5 cents. Didn't quite touch there. Now, there is a possibility we could come down to that level. It is a major daily support that we have not retested yet, and also is where our 200 daily EMA is lining up. So very good confidence that we could come down to this area of about 36.2 cents. That's a Fibonacci 618 area. Also a retest of the 100 EMA. Now we just got bumped off of our 50. It should come back down and retest this 100. Now if it fails, we will come back and retest this 200. And we should find support there, making another double bottom scenario. Giving us a rise back up to the top of this channel. And from here, we're looking at a breakout because we are in a falling wedge pattern. Now, this orange dotted line that I have here was when Phantom was going parabolic. When, when I was putting out videos on this, I said that when this line breaks, that's your line in the sand, that is your signal to exit that position. That came in at 52 cents. Congratulations to all you guys who sold because you saved yourself from all this frustration as it came down to 30 cents. Now trade the way you want to, but my goal is that when we establish a pattern, I like to look at these bottoms, especially those second bottoms that we do a touch and confirm a pattern. That's a good place that I think it is to get in, especially if it's around a 200 day moving average. Now there are some measured moves from this. Now we will take a couple, we'll take this measured move here, put it at a presumed breakout level. Let's just be conservative and say that it comes in here. That would bring us up to this tank profit area of about 59 9.6 cents. We can also take a, an extended measure move and that would be going from the very top of the pattern to the very bottom that we have here, placing that at pretended breakout. And that brings us up to this area right around 76 cents. Now for you really crazy guys that just really want to push the limit, we can take this measure move, apply that to the breakout area. That takes us up to this area, which I do not have marked. And let me go ahead and do that right now. And that is coming in at 87.5 cents. So let's assume that we are lucky enough to get in and let's just put it at this price right here about 33 cents set our soft loss below this wick here and that's about 12 percent and that's about 29 and a half cents going to my very first profit area that i would have that 52 cents that would give you a 55 percent increase risk to reward ratio is 4.4 very good risk to reward ratio for that that's why we try to buy at the bottoms of these patterns official measure move that we took would bring us up to 78 percent return going up to the Full measure move will give us 129% and going all the way up to the extended measure move would give us a return of 160% on that. Not bad for measure move targets, is it? Now, other than the measure moves, I also have some Fibonacci targets we can look at. Let's just go over them all in a line. Possible buy targets that you could have is 29 and a half cents. I don't really see us getting down that low, but it is a possibility. Possible buy target with it makes a double bottom here is just a little over 30 cents. Have another buy target at 33.1 cents. Daily support level that we undoubtedly could double bottom from here at 34.8 cents. Fibonacci area, which it undoubtedly will come back and test at 37.2. Personally, how I work this is I scale in from here. I put my lighter orders here at the 618, heavier orders, heavier orders, extremely heavy order just down here to catch any kind of further retracement there and we should find really good support because we have it to the left right over here. 
and my personal stop losses would be around 27.3 cents. Now take profit areas I have 52 cents, 59 cents, 65.6 cents, 78.5 cents, and our measure move target at 87 cents. There are more extended measure moves for those of you who are looking to hold this for a longer term play. 96 cents is one of my main targets and we should find a lot of heavy resistance there. And then my extended targets on that would be $1.24, $1.30, and $1.40 over time. And if you look to the left, you can see that this is the area right here coming in about a dollar three that we will find some resistance. Would like to also go ahead and put this target as a resistance level 115. Now for you guys that are not comfortable at trying to buy a bottom or you consider it to be catching a falling a knife, if you're waiting for a breakout trade, how you would play this is just wait for price to find its bottom, come back up to the top, retest this top line for support, and we're probably looking at about a price of about 40 cents. Once it confirms to flip that resistance into support, we can start looking for some upward price action. That is your safest entry for this position. Now, assuming that you buy there and you put a reasonable stop loss somewhere around 10% or so, going up to your main target, Fibonacci Moment area, about 96 cents, that's 134% return on investment. Coming up to the daily resistance area of 115, we give you 178%, and coming up to our main big target, 236% return. Not bad for a long term play. Again, we did find rejection at the top of this and at the 50 EMA. I am foreseeing it to come back and at least retest this 100% day EMA, 35 cents. We'll take a look on the smaller time frames here at the four hour just to get a little better sense about what's going on in the more immediate term. It is actually saying that it found support here at the 50 moving average as a 618 and it's already ready to actually come back and retest this 200 day moving average. So right now the four hour is actually telling me we're getting a little move up. The question will be will we get rejected here and come back to these lower areas that we're looking at hopefully to build a bag or will we go ahead and break out? The larger time frames that we are looking at here are suggesting that we are coming down. So since they trump the smaller time frames, it's highly likely we might make a break up to this area, retest it, and come back down to lower areas. However, if we do break out, the breakout scenario that we just talked about where you buy on the retest of the support line is by technical analysis your safest play there. If you found this information helpful, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, check out our free Telegram group, but most of all, just congratulate yourself for being in crypto at a great time. Until next time, my name is Lane, your Crypto Road Dog, reminding you, you got this, baby. Good afternoon, everyone. Captain Lane speaking and wishing you a safe travels to your crypto destination. For those of you traveling with mice, please securely position your cursor over the like button below and right click with your favorite finger. For those with touchscreen devices, we ask that you gently press the thumbs up near the bottom of your screen. Thank you for choosing Road Dog Crypto. Please trade wisely and enjoy the rest of your video. Is that you,